welcome to SS Racing. So today I'm trying out Ren Sport for the first time. The track we're at is Hockenheim. And the car we're driving is the Porsche GT3. Just going to do a quick five lap race around here to get a feel for it. Well, I say race, it's a practice session. Now bearing in mind, at, at the moment, this is still a beta. So there will be more improvements before the full release. It's been in beta for quite a while as a closed beta and in a select few people oh, making a mess of this only a select few people have been able to play it but in recent days it has become an open beta so it's there now if you want to give this a go When I first installed it, straight away it picked up my wheelbase and I decided not to touch any of the uh, force feedback. I want to see how the game naturally sets it. And to be fair, it's pretty damn good. I can film exactly what the car is doing. Every time I make an error, I can correct it quite nicely. Now the only change that I did make with regards to the steering is it automatically sets it to 900 degrees of rotation. And I know a lot of people do like to race like that. But for me personally, I like 360 degrees rotation. That's what I'm used to. So, graphically, replays look absolutely fantastic really good detail from the cockpit view when you compare it to other things out there it's pretty much on par which in a way you could say is a good thing But at the same time, it's a little bit disappointing as this game does actually use the Unreal Engine 5. So I was expecting a little bit more from this, to be honest. I've played other games that use Unreal Engine 5 and they look absolutely stunning. This isn't quite up to that standard. Over there, they might tweak it a little bit more before the full release. So, of course, the big question is would I actually play this game once it is released? Um, based on the gameplay, the way it feels, absolutely. Really good detail to the full feedback. It is a lot of fun. Then you've also got to consider what's it actually going to cost you. Is it going to be like eye racing and be ridiculously expensive to buy your tracks and cars that you want? Then 
haven't got to come to online play. I will record a video at some point. Uh, some point. Uh, I'll do a race online. But at the moment, I haven't really looked into it, so I don't know if you just get chucked into a random lobby or if you can actually set one up so that you can play with your friends so you know you're racing with people that are fair and respectful the last thing you want is some bell end running you off track now at the moment my fastest lap is a 144.443 Oh, a little bit out of shape there. I was able to hold it and find that grip level quite nicely. So, when we get around to start the next lap, I'm going to try and concentrate a bit more. See if I can get a half decent lap in. Normally I race AMS2. No on AMS2 in this car on this track I can probably do 138 around here. But not being used to this sim yet, I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere near that. Sounds not too bad from the engine, it's not the best. A little bit whiny. It's not looking good at the moment for improving my time. I'm in the red. really going to have to nail these last few corners. Oh, we're in the green. half a second up coming around to finish the race don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell notification for more videos and I'll see you on the next one